hey nom noms i hope you guys are doing well and great so today i have a video for you a very interesting one so basically this is very weird actually because in my social media right i don't get a lot of um engagement so that's why i asked my sister to do this in her social media so she basically did this in her mama <laughs> hey nom noms how are you guys doing i hope you guys are doing fabulous i hope you guys are fantastic wherever you guys are before i start on anything you know what you gotta do please do hit that subscribe button it's literally right down below it's the red button if you have though please do like and comment on this video and just like literally put a heart before you even watch the video <laughs> and if you have subscribed and you've done all the all of the above please do share this video on your guys's whatsapp statuses facebook instagram you know the drill just please share this link and get me more nom noms we want to be a big family you know um so basically you guys you know it's locked down and, and stuff i've got literally a sweater on and sweatpants this is literally uniform i even went and restocked all of this because ugh, you know how it is but basically you probably heard all of this in my previous video so right now i've got a really interesting video um up so the weirdest thing is i don't have a lot of engagement in my in my social media in terms of um instagram i've got a lot of that in my facebook but for some odd reason i like um, the engagement my little sister has so i asked her to ask her friends on facebook to just ask these questions you know um a first time tag so i have been seeing a lot of youtubers doing this and i was like you know what let me jump onto this i probably have done it i don't know but anyways because i've done a lot of challenges and i've even like brought my sister and my friends to do this so i might have done it but i just wanted to do it again and just get onto the whole bandwagon and i hope you guys are going to enjoy this video so let's get to it you guys i am going through it all i just literally hurt myself trying to open <sighs> these bottles <laughs> okay finally i went to the kitchen and just got an opener which is pretty weird because i thought it would be easy and mind you i wanted to open it with my eyelash curler anyways today we are featuring this baby this is not sponsored but it's a fave you know anyways you guys um okay so first time tag let's get to it okay but first the sound honey that's it <laughs> trust me mm. 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 <laughs> the one i just had to another one another one another one okay so basically the questions go like this wow the first even the first question is just like it's like your first mm, the first question is your first heartbreak my first heartbreak <laughs> wow you guys my first heartbreak was in i started dating in grade six right and hmm i found out the person i was dating was my <laughs> basically who was like a crush i had for the longest time so finally he actually he was crushing on me as well so finally he then asked me out we dated and then a few months later i found out he was cheating on me i was like i have never experienced this what is this so that was like my first like serious boyfriend and that was big back in primary so i don't know if it counts but i would say it counts because i mean i found the babe i don't i don't even know what i was doing but my feelings were there and i was like Geesh, i've never been hurt like this but obviously they are there are like tougher heartbreaks than the one i'm talking about there are ones that were really drastic more than this but this was the one that i would say was my first one even though it was a bit mild compared to the ones that i had later on 
Okay, so my first big achievement. Okay, not just an achievement. My first big achievement. Hmm, you guys. Okay, passing my check. Guys, I passed my check really well. I wanted to say my my me getting a driver's license, but I want to say my check because I feel like that was the biggest one, you know, a life changing one. And it was like I passed like really well, six distinctions. I was that girl, you know. I was so happy and so proud of myself. So yeah, I would say that was my first big achievement, not first achievement. So, um, then the, the other one is first, first best friend. Okay, if we're talking like in general, it has to be my big sister because when we were growing up, literally we were, we were ultimate buddies. We wore the same clothes. I mean, she later on started to hate it, but she enjoyed it as well at some point, like, in the beginning in the beginning in the beginning but as time went by she's just like no I, I should be way different from you right now so she was like no i should be different from you but she was my my first best friend and then my second best friend has to be my little sister because she then later on came and then she joined us <laughs> literally the three little i don't know what to call us little sisters little pigs little three musketeers we are those people and then um outside of family my first best friend was should I be mentioning names, but she okay, yeah. I mean, it's not bad or anything. It was Upumzi Lem Kabile. A lot of people back in my hometown actually know her. A lot of people say we look alike, basically, we're twinsies. We you couldn't separate us. Listen, we were literally together all the time, doing everything together. Um, we even sometimes had the same clothes. Um, so yeah, she was my first official best friend outside of family um my first physical fight well if you're talking about family then it has to be my big sister obviously <laughs> it's actually funny because we used to laugh about the most we used we used to laugh about the most stupidest things ever like we were used to fight but let's say who was who mom said should go and put put the dish she was using in the kitchen then she'd be like i'm older than you i can tell you what i can tell you what to do and i was like no you're not gonna do that so then becca are you are you and then next thing maybe she'll throw in the first lap or you let's say for example someone pushes the other one maybe i push her and then next thing it's a EMB guys I've only really fought with my sisters like I haven't really fought outside of my siblings like I haven't fought someone else which would be weird imagine like trying to kick someone else's hey listen I wouldn't do that especially in school imagine I always I always used to watch <laughs> I used to like watching fights man but like a bit from a father so I'm like that person not in the same like you wanna in the circle where everyone is like I'd be like so am I in the circle because no, what never really happened is that when teachers name would then recognize okay there's a fight then they would come there then they would beat everyone not just the people who were fighting they would beat everyone in the circle so I was that girl who was just like maybe I'll stand on top of the jungle gym and just look from the top or something like that but I was like shady in the sense that I wanted to be the first one to run out of the circle so yeah I've never fought anyone because I just normally see how people look um i think also i'm very scared of trouble i try and stay away from being in trouble i'll i'll try my i'll test here and there but like most of the time i'll i'm, I'm the good girl you know i try to not do the things that will make me have to explain myself i don't like that i don't like america also i don't like 
um, being in trouble, basically being punished. It's only now that I'm just like, I would too. I'm old enough to do all these things, whatever. If you wanna, like, yeah, let me shut. But when I was young, I was so scared, guys, of being like you, being yelled at, being like beaten up for something I did. But literally, I've only fought siblings, cousins. I've never fought someone from the outside. I've hit someone, I haven't fought them. They were like literally semi bullying me. I think I think that guy had a crush on me. But he was younger than me, which was very weird. So it was a kid, it was a boy kid who had like I think a semi crush on me. So what he would do, he would like hit me whenever he sees me. But whenever like his friends say, hey, here's who's norm to coming then she he'd be shy then it's like what's wrong with you then one day i got so pissed i got so pissed because every time he would see me he would like hit me like and and like hit as in like maybe like j <clears throat> hit me on the like on, on zimbani guys and like violently violently so so i was just like okay also because of my, my i'm scared of being like co i'm scared of confrontation i'm scared of like um going on telling on people so one day i was just like yes in luna i'm not gonna go and tell the teachers about this because all number one he's younger than me number two i didn't want that whole explaining no like going back and forth then it's his word against mine i was like okay it's fine so one day after school he's like hey 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 you don't 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 and then he comes to me and he hits me you guys i was i had had it so it, it literally the story describes the person i am so i'll let you slide once twice you know maybe even the third time but when i reach my limit listen sis i i do not care i do not care like i i i and i noticed that when i was young i used to bottle things up and then when they burst it's like boom so like literally that's the person i am i've got a, i've got a tolerance level for people until a certain limit so i won't not all the time but like most of the time i let it slide for the first time let it slide for the second time and then for the third time yo so what happened is that he hit me in the back i was in the jungle gym he used to believe me like maybe get off the jungle gym na, 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 na. Then I was like, Yasmin, this is it. You! I'm chugging to him, bam. And literally, I clapped him with the back of my hand. I don't know how I swinged at him, but listen. And he was on, like, from the back. So he hit me. He didn't think I was, I, he thought I was going to let us, like, like, all the other times. Like, I man, stop what you're doing. And then I leave it. I was like, no fucking way. Turn. I was like, what? What? Then he was like, both. Like, he was so shocked, you guys. <laughs> he didn't even like he didn't even he couldn't do anything after he couldn't even he hit me back he he just stood still like what just happened and i was looking at him like come on <laughs> and then i walked away <laughs> And then I could see as I was walking away, I could see he started sobbing and I was like, you messed with the bad one, you messed with the bad, bad one. <laughs> no, honestly, I was up to here. Here. I wasn't even here. I was here. I was like, nah. Nah, don't do that. First crush. What? Do I even... Okay, let me let me just say, if you're saying officially, what celebrity crush? I don't know. So then would you crash? I don't know. Okay, let me let me say first crush. First crush was my first serious boyfriend. So I mean I've had like preschool crush, but my first serious boyfriend as in and serious as in we were just kissing, but like it was serious in the sense that it was long term. It was serious in the sense that like literally I I thought I would marry that guy. And then he did I'm a was I started dating my best friend started well actually there were rumors but they were dating so who knows like he did weird stuff man um so yeah um <laughs> but anyways yeah that was my first question like for the longest time i think i was crushing for him for like a year or two and then my friend was just actually not a year it was less than a year i think it was like six months five months ish maybe less than that but it was a few months and then my friend who apparently was close to him as well like so now like we we were whole squads back then 
so um a friend of mine who was really close at, and i had i had about three best friends back then yeah i had three best friends so one of my best friends was like okay i'm close to this guy i want to hook you up and i was like okay and then so he was like she was like the middle guy so she'd go to him it was like all cute and stuff he was my neighbor that got home and then he was like um he was we're in the same school but he was my senior so it was like nice and cute and shit and then yeah he was like i like her too because i was the popular girl you know at school and he was like not one of the like he was one of the popular guys at school he was i feel like he was the prettiest yes he was the prettiest guy at school back then and i was like okay and then he saw, and guys it was like like we were that couple and i was like yeah <laughs> So anyways, like it was so fun man, it was so, like so nice and then we'd like see each other even after school so we sometimes we'd walk together and then we'd like part ways because he was my neighbor then go there and let's go there and then sometimes when I'm standing in the veranda I'd see him like hey you and be like hey you and then he'd be like come over and be like ah! <laughs> but like back then it was so weird because guys literally I liked this guy I had butterflies in my time he was so pretty i do not want to lie but now i'm like so over him i don't want him next to me at all but like back then yo guys i was like this is the guy i'm going to marry and then my mom found out and then my granny found out and then they would like randomly ask me about him and i was like no <laughs> don't do that but yeah man, it was all cute and stuff it's like yeah but that was my first official crush and it so happened that it went really well and i was like so happy but like in a drama actually that story because i was even confronted so like months after i found out that he had a girlfriend when he started dating me which was so weird then i'm tripping my eyeball how can you even get into a relationship with me when you were in one Niggas like, ah, no, this girl, she doesn't want to leave me. Which was shady back then, but obviously I believed him. I was gullible. I liked the guy. He was like, no, I've been trying to break up with her. She doesn't want to break up with me. Next thing, the friends of the girlfriend come, like, you won't satisfy his needs. He's too old for you. And I'm like, bitch, the <laughs> it was so weird guys this deserves a whole story time that guy put me put me through the most like honestly let's leave that i'm gonna wrap this up because i'm gonna end up like oversharing about things that happened to me concerning me and this guy but it's okay now but anyways that was my first crush <laughs> um first special gift you've gotten oh guys it's a tie actually between two hmm I'm trying to think okay my family has bought me like really like sentimental stuff but I'm gonna talk romantically it's a tie between two boyfriends I had one bought me like a teddy bear um an album no not an album a teddy bear and then like um chocolate it was like a whole goodie bag of stuff of stuff which was really cute that was vacant primary so i literally hoarded those teddy bears and things like until i was in matric imagine this was grade six seven grade seven and i, I literally hoarded those things until grade top i think i only lost the last item of that gift in grade top and then there's this other guy i dated um he bought me an ankle bracelet that had um, my name and his name it's so cute you guys i literally wear it still i can't go into deep about it but i jump into that it, it's it's from <laughs> it's from a boyfriend but i still wear it i love it like he was very thoughtful with his gifts like they were very personalized um like it was so adorable and he used to say dude i was never the gift giving type but you made me that person i was like oh so like oh, it was really it was really nice but being me and being the person that i am i normally just hold gifts Guamna. like it's just a thing um first dream career i wanted to be an astronaut but for the longest time i wanted to be a neurologist 
so i think the first dream career i used to picture myself as a neurologist i was like i am going to be a neurologist but yeah that after grade 11 i was just like nah, i probably won't do this i probably won't because i just I, I felt out of love with with medicine in grade 11 i don't know maybe it's because it was a really tough year biology was like really tough and i was like researching what people actually did and i went to job shadow someone who was just a general um practitioner um actually no there was they were not a gp he was a surgeon in my local um public hospital so i went to shadow them for about two weeks man being a doctor is not easy you guys i know other professions are not easy as well but i feel like i i, I think i because i went to the extreme side which is like deep in the rural areas the public hospital public hospital sorry generally doesn't have any facilities they don't it's almost as if like i got the raw end deal of like me seeing what doctors do yes it's nice and fast in gray's anatomy but when you actually get there i was like yo this job probably takes guts the things i saw guys just in those two weeks i was like nah mate. <laughs> i can't do this i don't think i'm gonna be able to do this so yeah i switched to engineering and then later on i narrowed it down to mining engineering so i'm, I'm actually really loving my career I'm, i think maybe when the deeper you go into learning about your career the more you love it so i really do not i honestly 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 do not regret my decision um so yeah like i'm a mining engineer at heart i'm a miner at heart guys i love 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 my career right now first beauty product you bought Ooh, okay um uh, wait you guys i'm trying to think it was probably mascara or lipstick no lipstick makes sense because yeah it was lipstick and it was a red one i had a red a deep red lipstick oh wait actually i've got a story for this so i when i was young back in primary like grade six grade seven grade eight i used to have a collection of like lipsticks so obviously when you were young i used when you're young kind of like still makeup products from your mom so i'd still things like mascara eyeliner lipsticks i actually don't know because none of the same thing i didn't this book like no blue eyes so that is about one so it's like Ooh. and then obviously you don't want your mom to find out then it's like okay let me get rid of this so i never wore i never wore highlighter yo i never wore eyeshadow sorry then i i used to have like a collection so i started buying my own obviously the cheap ones like on my five rands two rands in the local um foreign shops right so i used to have like a collection of lipsticks my sister's friend they were young back then they were like not toddlers but they weren't even teenagers back then if friend you told me i'll be a guest i mean when it touches lipstick is it key back guys literally my lipsticks are broken some of them are like was this naga left some of them are just lost and i'm like what were you doing you pick one color you put it on you say okay you don't like it you put it you you take another one you put it on why do you have to make a mess up these are not crayons you i do it guys i was livid to a point where by um Mike even started like came because she ran to her mom crying mom nah i shot to her then my mic came i was like whoa but you got opposite before you even state your case do you want me to bring my own mom or are you gonna pay for the lipsticks that she messed up with also don't want this alone then okay wrong but let me wait see but this was a case of no debate i was like what and i was like you're gonna pay for them obviously she didn't pay for them i didn't force her to pay for them but i was like so angry but obviously yeah i got over it but i was like also angry at the fact that i wouldn't say mama the fuck bro anyways yeah <laughs> so anyways yeah that was the first thing i bought was lipstick and then obviously i grew it with mascara 
and then you know the drill so that was my first beauty product um i think yeah i think those are the questions you guys asked me um mama Angola, sorry so anyways you guys that those are the questions that you guys asked my sister on my behalf please don't forget to actually go subscribe to our channel her channel is queen studla i actually put a link on my description box i know i be, i neglect my description box like crazy and i shouldn't be doing that but i will start being a change girl i'm so sorry about that anyways please do subscribe if you haven't guys please do make sure that you have liked this video comment on some of the things you found crazy or if you guys relate to any of the things that i said um till next time love you guys bye bye you know, know.